The victim of the attack on April 28th was his fiance and fellow MMA fighter, Jesse Jess. Jess told the Daily Telegraph that she arrived home 15 minutes late and brought Wallace the wrong noodles for dinner. He began to yell, began accusing her of infidelity, landed a head kick wearing Timberland boots, demanded her engagement ring back, and threatened to break her fingers. He hit her in the face, got a takedown and put pressure on her face and neck, then he chased her down, landed some knees to the ribs which dropped her, then he sunk in the choke. She he tapped but he didn't let go but Jess was able to escape and landed a head kick and knocked out Wallace before calling the police. Jesse Jess says one of the hardest things for me to come to terms with is the fact that the man I was so head and heels in love with and professed to be madly in love with me in return could act the way he did. And I was too stupid to leave. I was too in love to leave. I truly believe things would get better they got worse. It saddens me to think that this particular incident had to happen before I finally found the courage to leave. And it saddens me that I was still so caught up in the spell that I still went back multiple times to see him even after it happened. I still told him I loved him and I even considered trying to make it work again. Fifth time is a charm, right? The reason why I came out so publicly about this is because it terrifies me to think that someone like myself, a professional fighter, can get so deeply caught in such a toxic and hurtful situation. And knowing how hard it is to break free of their hold on you, then what hope is there for the women, men, and children who don't have the physical ability not only to defend themselves, but remove themselves from the situation? Julian Wallace is currently in a relationship with number 12 ranked UFC women's bantamweight fighter Ashley Evans Smith. Julian became known in the MMA community in March 2014 when a video of him went viral after he aggressively went after Ben Wynn during their stare down in Nitro MMA but then was KO'd in 25 seconds in the fight. Ben Wynn ended up getting signed by the UFC and has gone 3 and 1 since that fight. Since that time Wallace has gone 1 and 2 and lost his last fight in the XFC on August 27th. While in the United States Wallace trains at Team Alpha Male in Sacramento, California.